This is IGN live at San Diego Comic Con 2019. Era premiered in 2012, breaking new ground and creating its own corner of the DC universe. But after eight seasons, it's coming to an end. But it's going out with a bang. Here to tell us all about the final season and reflect on some of our favorite moments, we have the cast of Arrow. Welcome, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so we wanted to do, again, we wanted to, to be reflective about the season and talk a, a bit about some of our favorite moments. We actually put a message out to our fans to ask what their favorite moments of Arrow were, and we have some clips that we figured we could all rewatch together and kind of nice. look at the journey we've gone on over the years. Uh, so hopefully we can time everything perfectly with me setting it up, but it, it is something that was really nice to see was like the first scene that, that so many people had come to mind was in season two, episode nine, uh, when Felicity puts on Oliver's mask Ask for the first time and says you look like a hero. That was like a really defining moment for kind of Oliver's uh, evolution and how people have held on to that. So I think we have the clip that we can all watch together and take a look at. How do I look? Like a hero. Awesome. I think David Ramsey deserves more credit for <laughs> <laughs> it's some of my toughest work, you know. Yeah. No. No. One, of the, one of the cool things about that is, is, and this sort of plays into the interconnected nature of the Arrowverse, is that Barry made the mask for me. Mm. That's the cool thing. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Emily nails it, as she does, but um, the fact that, you know, I'm wearing a mask that another superhero on another show that, you know, uh, debuted on our show. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's also interesting too that you know Oliver. It's it's interesting to think back to that journey he has gone on, and all these heroes have gone on. Where you know that moment comes midway through season two, where he's had such a, a journey to get to the point, yeah. even early on in Arrow, to feeling like a hero, to, to acting like a hero, to not just being this kind of vigilante, trying to do what's right, but really trying to uh, inspire respect. Like, what do you think about that journey that kind of the show has gone on and, and all these characters have kind of grappled with that balance? I mean, it's, it's, it's been cool. Like, you don't get an opportunity to play a character for eight years and to, and, and to span like, 13 years of his life because, or probably even actually like 15 because we did some stuff before he even got on the gambit in season two, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't know, it's, 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 it's incredible. And we built the suit for season eight with, um, with an eye towards a lot of the stuff that I think fans really appreciated. Like I wanted Oliver to have the mask back. He doesn't need to wear it. People know his identity and I'm like, yeah, but still. <laughs> it's better, the iconography is better with the mask. Of course. Okay, so we do have another clip. This one is from season three, episode nine. We of course need to have a really epic fight scene and the overridingly popular one am was that kicked, showdown. Am I getting kicked off a mountain in this scene? You, I mean, do you wanna, yeah, no, take it away, set it up. <laughs> let's, let's roll the scene. Survived. <laughs> and that was it for Oliver Queen, right? <laughs> but again, like another epic scene in the middle of a season and, and such a big moment with a, a massive villain in the DC you know, canon to, yep. to get right. Yeah. It's, it's a cool scene. Yeah. 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 It was cold. It was cool. <laughs> was it cold? Did you say it was cold or it was? Yeah, it was freezing cold. Really? We shot, we shot, for, we shot for eight hours. Um, we shot for eight hours. Uh, I got to get up at four o'clock in the morning, get all my scars on. We shot for eight hours on top of Grouse <laughs> Mountain in Vancouver. And unfortunately, the, there was cloud cover. Otherwise, it would have been epic. If it was clear outside, it would have been 
incredible. We might as well have shot it on a sound stage. Mm. It was so socked in. Really? Mm. Um, yeah, it was cold. Yeah. Well, now, of course, we need to uh, show some love to the ladies. And actually, one of our favorite scenes from last season was season seven, episode 18, uh, with Overwatch, Black Siren, Black Canary, and White Canary, our epic Lost Canary fight. So let's take a look at uh, that fight scene. Oh, you can't see it quite yet. What is it like choreographing those fight scenes? I mean, over the years too, as you guys hone and hone, like just how to make that action look so dynamic. What is that like? Well, we have an incredible uh, stunt team, you know, and they are brilliant the way they choreograph these fight sequences. It's almost like a dance. Dan and Jeff and yeah. Eli and Curtis and yeah. Yeah. Reese. Um, yeah. We try to do, I think, as much of the stunts as we can, but obviously there's, um, insurance and they don't, you know, I can't jump off the building. I don't know why. I've trained for that. <laughs> um, you know. That was a big one that we just watched too. That was a big fight and there was, it was a, like a full warehouse that was all going at the same time and each person had like a cue and, you know, sometimes we would swap out with our stunt double in the middle of the scene as we were rolling and it was like a really big, uh, orchestration in that particular scene um, and it was also freezing for that uh, for that scene. yeah and it was also nice to have Were you shirtless um, uh, <laughs> no. part of it uh, <laughs> that scene got cut that's it. underneath <laughs> my shirt yeah. it, it was nice uh, to have Katie Lotz back too for that episode. yeah, yeah. Katie's it was dope. really awesome that was amazing yeah and now of course we could not have an error retrospective without a, a scene that I think made everyone's jaw drop when they saw it for the first time it's a quick one let's roll let's roll the clip Was that like a one and done? Was that like you're getting one take of this? You hear people it. off camera going, sheesh. <laughs> uh, no, I, I would, they would try to limit my takes unless Glenn was directing. Yeah, and Glenn, Glenn has no concept of physical exertion. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, good work struggling on that muscle up. I'd be like, Glenn, this is take seven. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. right. No. Um, the, actually, uh, uh, big spoiler, uh, we do the salmon ladder in the premiere this year. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. I mean, I needed way more than a, an eight minute interview segment to get through like all of our favorite scenes too. It was like so hard trying to narrow them down. That, that's but we, a rite of passage, by the way, doing the salmon ladder. Yeah. I, I had to go through that. that Is that like the audition, the final stage of the audition? Yeah, that's, oh, that's, you can do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we see in the premiere. No, we, we didn't want to let you guys uh, go without doing a toast to Arrow because it has been an incredible run. Arrow has changed, honestly, superhero television and the way superheroes are, are presented uh, beyond the comics. As as we know it over the course of the past decade, and it's just been such a joy to go on that journey with you guys. So we do have literally a toast oh, for wow. you all as well. And we oh, figured yeah. before we let you go, if you guys want to share you. some words just about what Arrow has uh, has meant to you all, and we can drink to that. Uh, man, I think you know just being around, just giving giving talent. You know, people that care about what they do and want to tell a story that means a lot to so many viewers, um, I think that's the blessing. And I think, you know, hopefully this show continues to give and people find solace and escape and enjoy their moments, you know, with, with us on the show. So I toast yeah. that. Well, um, I, oh my God, no, don't. <laughs> I know, I'm like about to cry too. It's been the best experience of my life and the opportunity to play heroes and have this incredible, incredible magical job but then also to um, come here and meet real people who have actually been impacted as if you know as if uh, there were heroes helping them through the hard times in their life um, and then also mostly to have you guys um, I love you guys <laughs> and I love everybody thank you all so much for supporting us and and being there on the journey um, obviously thanks 
to the fans and everyone else who's really made Arrow what it is. We would be no place without them. But really, it's it's um, it's the people on this couch and so many people behind the scenes that are really that I'm going to miss the most. Right? You come to work any job and you love the people you're working with. It just makes all the difference. So. So um, this has been my family for a number of years, and I'll miss you guys. Um, the same. I mean, these people are their family. You guys have. Oh, I've learned so much from all of you. I'm trying not <laughs> to <trying not> get <laughs> emotional. Um, I mean, and it's changed my entire life. And again, like you had said, I think for the fans, a lot of people. You know, I have had so many fans come up and, and thank me for inspiring them and helping them through hard times and. It was, it's just nice to, to give that to them. Um, and I think this last season is gonna be, you know, a tribute to the entire eight seasons. And I think it's, it's, been, it's been real. <laughs> yeah. The people that are on the couch right now and a couple people who aren't have just, just changed my life. I can't imagine, uh, I can't imagine anything better than spending the better part of a decade with with these folks, and I hope that people have enjoyed it. Also, my daughter is dating a guy named Arrow right now. <laughs> She's turning seven. He's actually, his name is Arrow. It's and, a real. Uh, yeah. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> cheers, guys. Sincerely. Cheers. Congrats. I love you. I love you. Yes, 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 yes. Hey. Ha. Ah, cheers. 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 Come on. Cheers, cheers. Arrow returns, this is like such a hard transition. That was so beautiful, thank you guys. Thank you. Arrow returns to the CW October 15th, but right now we need to take a short break, but IGN Live at Comic-Con will continue right after this. Perfect.